Okay, so in this video, we're gonna put together our little floral pillow box. And this is the main part of the box. So your machine is going to cut and score this. And you wanna go ahead and fold everything at the score marks. Now this, this little section here uh, it may look a little weird, but it will fold correctly. So just get it folded. And then let's take this tab here and we're gonna apply some glue to it. Just get it right on that tab, get a little bit of glue right out to the edge. And let's just work that out right up to the edge. And then we can go ahead and close this up. You can do this flat. Just push it down flat and hold it in place until it's fully set. Okay, when we actually pop the little ends in, it will take its shape, but in the meantime, we may as well let it set nice and firm for us. Okay, now as you can see, I've got, I've got my inks out. Uh, we've got two little flowers and we've got um, this little um, leaf, leaf piece here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take and curl these, these leaves a little bit. Let me grab a larger dowel. It's kind of a delicate little piece there. Just gonna go ahead and curl these out a little bit just to make them stand up a little bit. Okay, and you can do that before or after you ink. It shouldn't really matter. I'm gonna grab my Memento. This is a dye ink. It's called Bamboo Leaves. This is mint AC cardstock, which you can find in the um, supply list for this product. And I'm just gonna hit the edges and just a tiny bit of the surface with a little bit of this green just to give it a little more dimension, a little more pizzazz. Okay. And just gonna go around the entire little leaf section here and give it a little bit of love. And if, you're, if you've made or if you're working on any of the projects from the 4MOM SVG bundle, which includes the, the two new paper sculptures that we released, um, that would make a nice gift. And then this would make a nice little complimentary piece that you can put a little bit of jewelry in, a gift card, um, some photos, pretty much anything that will fit in this little pillow box. It'll look really cute all together. So, and I'm just, I'm looking at this now and I just decided that I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the surface and maybe a little bit heavier on one side more than the other, just to kind of give this thing a little extra color. I feel like I've been getting a little crazier with the inking lately. I just maybe wanted to start off a little slow and not overdo it. And then once you kind of get comfortable with the process and you get a feel for how much ink you're going to be applying, it's a lot easier to get a little more adventurous. Okay, so that's fine. All right, now I'm just going to flip this around. I'm going to grab my little flowers here. And these flowers here, we're going to just slightly fold them back. Okay, so they're gonna be kind of like that. Okay, now if you want, you can also go in and kind of crease the petals a little bit just to, uh, well, the individual sides here, I mean, just to kind of make them a little more unique as well. You can do whatever you really want with these flowers. Just train them a little bit so they're not just plain plain old flat, give them a little bit of life. Okay. And, um, yeah, so once we, once we get them glued and actually I'm going to flare these out like this as well. Okay. So let's grab our pink and that is way too much. I'm just going to grab my little prototype here. 
These are the first versions of what we assemble together. And uh, after, after Ron gets done designing everything, my lovely artist, Diana, puts together the prototypes and then I kind of take a look at them and most times I'll cut them out myself and then assemble them for you. So this is in fact my first time putting this together as well. So just more reason why if I can do this, then you most certainly can do this because I haven't been sitting around practicing. And I think the more you work with our files, the more you'll understand how everything goes together. And sometimes I see this now with a lot of the people in the Dreaming Tree group on Facebook is we'll release a product. And typically I try to get the assembly videos up within 24 hours of a product release, but we'll have, we'll have our amazing fans posting pictures of their final products well with well before um, the projects or the videos are even available. So that is not only a testament to their skill, but also a testament to um, the precision of our engineering as well as um, the videos themselves. So just hitting that with a little bit of pink, just to kind of, uh, again, give it a little life. I'm gonna go ahead and fold these petals back or train them back a little bit so they're kind of pointing downward. And then I'm gonna lift them up a little bit as well. Okay, we're gonna put a nice little rhinestone in the middle of that once everything's said and done. And we've got some, we've got some rain happening. I don't know if you can tell. Um, you may also notice today that I sound different. And it's not because I got sick, it's because I've upgraded my sound device for the computer and I feel like it's a lot more clear and it's picking up my voice a lot, a lot better. And it may also be picking up that thunder out there. So I apologize for that if it's annoying, but I personally love the sound. Just don't have a soundproof studio and I'm not sure that we ever will. But anyway, so you can go ahead and skip past this if you're done watching me ink. Okay. We'll just get this nice and inked. There we go. All right, and then we have this little band here. Okay, and this is gonna kinda keep everything together for us. Now you'll notice that on one side, we've got a slit here, and on the other side, we've got a slit here. Okay, you want them on opposite sides, one on top, one on the bottom. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one little section here, just these two little holes, this entire section with the holes, we're gonna throw some glue on that and we're gonna glue this to the other side so that these holes line up, okay? These are actually gonna be covered up and hidden by our flowers, so you're not gonna see it, but we wanna get those, I'm gonna get those covered up anyway, okay? And then, while we have this, we can actually go ahead and just train this a little bit. And actually, you know what, there are some score marks here that are going to hug the edges of our little pillow box. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, so we want to just fold it here like that. And what's gonna happen is this thing's gonna go around our little pillow box, and then you're gonna take these two, these two sides here, the little slits, and just kinda cross them over. You gotta just make sure that you're getting it aligned correctly so that they slide over each other like that. Okay, so that is our, that's gonna kinda keep this thing from opening up unexpectedly. Okay, so next step here, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of, I'm gonna ink this with some lavender as well. So again, the process is pretty much, I think, wow, look go. That's, uh, that's intense. That is way too much ink. So I'm just gonna rub a little bit of that off so that I don't get too crazy with it while I do this. And I'm gonna go around the perimeter of this piece so you don't have to watch this. You can just skip past it if you'd like. 
and I'll show you the assembly here in a second. But I'm going to hit the little scallops here and give this thing a little bit of color. And you're not seeing my face today because I've been under the weather. Um, I don't know what I caught. It was something viral. And sometimes when I get something viral, I get those darn cold sores. And I don't want you to see it. I have to see that. So, and I'm, I don't wear makeup. I'm not going to cover it up. I would much rather just skip one freebie where you just don't see my face. And I apologize for that. But you do get to hear my voice. Um, in a higher quality, so we'll, that'll make up for it. We'll just, we'll call it even this time around, but I'm almost back in full force. I think I got a little bit of a bronchitis because of uh, whatever bug I caught and just not been feeling like myself lately. And anyway, I'm on the mend and I will be actually visiting Florida next week i'm going to disney world i've never been it'll be my first time so if you have some suggestions on where to eat what to do um, leave them in the comments on either facebook or on youtube preferably and i will read your comments and maybe implement some of them into my trip Again, I, I realize this is monotonous, but uh, I'm not going to leave it out. So I'll just go with it. And again, this is, um, you can use this any time of the year, really. Uh, we, you know, have it geared towards um, spring and it's feminine, but you can always omit the flowers. And you can even omit the band if you want or make your own band, get rid of the scallops. You can do it in fall colors. You can do it in summer colors. You can make this um, for Halloween even and fill it with goodies for the trick-or-treaters. You know, make a few special treats um, for best dressed or whatever it is you want to do. So don't, don't let the way that we've developed it and designed it and, and colored it and so on stop you from using your imagination and making it your own. Uh, you can also, if you want to, find a 2D object to glue on the actual band and give it um, a, a specific theme. You know, it doesn't have to be a flower. It could be a football helmet or uh, who knows, anything really. Okay, so... That's that. Now let's take a look at this guy here. Um, that didn't really glue as well as I had hoped it would have. So you know what that means. And I'm sure you guys have seen this tip a million times here. I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper. It could be scrap of paper. I'm just using some copy paper, putting a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just gonna slide this into this little area that for some reason, um, didn't bond as well and, and glue as well as I would have liked it to. So we're just going to paint a little bit of glue into the cracks there. Okay, and then I'm just going to give it a little extra love right in that area. And just hold that down until it sets completely. And that looks a lot better now. And that's what happens. It's just, it's paper. We're not perfect. We just have to do our best to make it beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to be patient with that. Should have brought my brayer out so that I could more evenly distribute that glue and more evenly press down on this so that it doesn't warp. But it should be fine. Okay, so we're going to grab it like this. And then we're just going to take these and fold them in. And that's going to help keep this box's shape like so. There we go. Okay, and then we can take our little band and wrap it around. If you find that center point, it should fit nicely. 
and we'll take and feed these through to keep this thing nice and closed for us like that. Okay. And there's our front. So actually let me close these up so they don't dry out on me. Okay. All right. Let's get our little leaf on here. I'm going to take two of the points and point them down. So we're just going to drop a little bit of glue right here in the center, right where that crease is, where we join the two pieces together and get that glued into place. Try to get that nice and centered if you can. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's take our two flowers. We'll take the first one and just glue it right in the center like so. Just throw a little drop of glue on there. Get it nice and centered. That's good. Okay, one more little drop of glue there in the center. And we can take the next little petal here. I'm going to flare these up a little bit. And we want to offset the petals so they're not right on top of each other. Just like that. Okay. And then I've got a nice little, nice little purple rhinestone. Uh, let's see which one. Which one do I like? I'm just going to go with the plain one here. And it's helpful to throw a little extra glue on the bottom of this thing so that it doesn't break off or come away. Sometimes that adhesive on there just doesn't stick as well as we would like. And get that nice and centered. Okay, that, that flower isn't completely um, stable yet, but that's okay. And that's really it. It's a, a very simple freebie. Uh, I think most of the time was spent inking, so you can completely omit that if you want. That is your creative decision. And um, that's really it. I, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope yours comes out as, as uh, nice as this one did. And if it did, um, please take a moment to share your work with us in the Dreaming Tree group on Facebook. Just go to Facebook and type in Dreaming Tree Group, three words, and you can post your work there. And again, if you did enjoy this tutorial, take a second to subscribe to us on YouTube. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.